now we're going to talk about a book that I have seen the movie of, but uh, because of Reading Rush, I wanted to read not only a, a genre that I haven't read a lot of, which is African American genre, but also I needed a book uh, that there was another prompt. I don't remember which other. There's like two different prompts that match this book. So, oh, it, it was the movie one. It was one read a book from a movie you've seen but you haven't read the book yet. And so I chose The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Very topical book for right now in our society. To be honest, I saw a lot of parallels between the book and the movie as I was reading this. I felt like there was a lot more in depth as to what was happening in the book, obviously more than the movie. But I also felt like the book had a lot more, like the book was just really, really serious and heavy, like more heavy than I think the movie was. And the movie was pretty serious. Yeah, I, and I just, I remember feeling like such a heaviness about it all. As a summary, basically what happens is the main character is at a party with another boy that's kind of been a friend of her family for a while. And uh, she, they're getting a ride home and they get pulled over and the policeman makes him step out of the car and he thinks that he has stuff in the car or whatever and the boy uh, basically turns into the car to ask the girl are you okay and the police officer shoots him thinking he was reaching for a gun when he was really reaching the thing that he had was a hairbrush instead of a gun. So he dies and so she is trying to get justice for her friend um, in a society where either A, people don't really care, or B, are using this platform as, you know, something more political than just why they're doing it. Like, look at me, uh, I'm having a rally because I should have a rally. And you know, she's African American going to a white school. So on top of that, you have these people who are trying to be righteous in, you know, trying to support her, but also trying to make themselves look good because they're doing this instead of like really caring about the rights of it all. You know, there is that whole thing that's happening as well. And uh, if you haven't seen the movie, please go see the movie right now. It's very important that you, yeah. uh, you know, educate yourself about the systemic racism. And this is a very good uh, a representation of that. There are some other books, which we will talk about later, uh, that also do this, that are just coming out. So, you know, there is that. I did see the movie of this, and it was very important also for white people to watch this because there are a lot of white people out there that do feel that this, these justice issues need to be resolved mm -hmm. but so many of them do take the route that these teenagers take and they they try so hard to do something but they aren't being a good ally Right. And we need to learn how to be good allies Better for the allies. minorities. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and a lot of that does come from asking them what they need. And another thing I wanted to bring up is I did listen to this on audiobook. And so one of the things I think we need to start doing when we're reviewing is really telling you about the audiobook experience. Because having the right narrator can really make or break your, uh, in, your enjoyment of the book. So in this case, it was one person who uh, read the whole book. Um, I do read my audiobooks at a faster speed, which is another reason I can get through them pretty fast. And I have to say that as far as her speaking, it was very concise. And even when, you know, they're speaking the way it's written, which is, you know, slang and street talk, uh, I could still totally understand what was happening. She had a lot of character and she had a lot of like, you know, just general, um, differences between all of the characters so you knew exactly who was speaking when she had a really good way of changing up the african-american characters and the white characters so that you could really get that style of how one person may talk and someone else may talk so i thought that was really great as well i highly recommend the audiobook if you're going to do this because i think it's it really gives you more of of a understanding of what is happening rather than just reading the book the way it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, I gave this book four stars uh, just mainly because there were just a couple things that I thought the middle kind of like laxed a little bit. It didn't carry me 
through, but the parts that were good were good. So that's why I gave it four stars. So if you want any more information, it's down below. And until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.